guys, I'm Travis, and welcome to my closet. Today, I'm actually really excited because I'm going to be reviewing my first hobo. Uh, I've never had one before. I've looked into them quite a bit, and uh, I found one when I was on one of my photo shoots the other day. So, let's get right into it. Ta-da! This beautiful hobo is named Blossom, and it is in Cinnabar. Um, that's the color. And what really caught my eye about this hobo was the way it closes. And um, it's kind of good for like a paranoid person of somebody reaching into your purse, or if you're going to the casino for the night or something, and or any any place, like a club or anywhere where you're at a higher rate of somebody trying to reach into your bag and get, get to your belongings. But with that said, I mean, isn't this an instant classic? This is so beautiful. And it could be my ignorance. Maybe this has been around for a long time. But this is just... <sighs> for me, it screams the hobo brand in, in a nutshell. Um, because... You've just, it's got this absolutely wonderful tumbled soft leather. It's got this nice thick stitching. Um, and, and this tassel too. I've seen some of their products with this tassel, but it hung off the product like way too far. Um, imagine like this being half the size and this just dangling way too far down. And it, it wasn't appealing to me, but on this bag, the way it sits is very appealing and it has a little charm, a little hobo charm. And um, let's get inside this bad boy. Oh wait, this is a zipper. Check this out. I just showed this, but that's a zipper. So we can just pull on the tassel. Where does that go? Oh, that, that goes all the way back. You can see my fingers and how deep my hand is. It goes a little deeper. It goes all the way back. I can feel it's on the, the, the back of the bag or the front. I mean, well, yeah, that's the back. Oh, focus. Hello. Focus. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So let's get right on in. It closes with a snap. Oh, no, it's not a snap. It's, it's magnetic. That's even nicer. So then you don't have to fumble with trying to get the button to snap closed. It's just um, a buried magnet. Oh, we don't need this. We definitely don't need this anymore, but I don't want to rip it off. It's too pretty. Let's see. Let's just gently take that off. All right. Into the nitty gritty. What else is in here? Come on. Let me get to my bag. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, let me get my spotlight to work. Look at this print. This is all on the inside. It's even in the inside where the zipper is. You can just see that beautiful print. And it matches. The, the brown on brown matches really well. So with this Cinnabar color, it's like they intentionally went with that pattern on the inside. Because sometimes with bags that come in multiple colors, you'll find that their interiors are either bland or they don't really match all the colors because they made one product with that color in mind and then just kind of slapped on the rest of the colors. And that's where I believe certain companies start to show their colors. And um, Hobo, I don't know if this is the standard or if this comes custom with this particular product, but they did a really good job. And because this is so malleable, I'm just going to flip it inside out. I don't think I'm going to hurt anything here. And we'll finish the review with it inside out because we can and this is a great opportunity to show you the interior. We've got, of course, again, this pattern. This isn't a fabric and it's not, I want to, oh, let's see, polyester. Okay, the lining is 100% polyester. The body is 100% genuine leather. So this being polyester means that it's not going to, it will pick up stains, but it will clean really easy. 
um, you're going to be able to just rub this down with a warm I always say start with a warm just water uh, rag and give it a lot of TLC and if that doesn't work step up to some low grade um, fabric cleaners but um, always try to start with the warm water give it give it a couple passes and see if you can take out whatever is bothering you um, on the front here we've got two pockets we've got one four four fingers wide and it's actually pretty deep um, I'd say that's four and a half inches deep by about four inches wide and then we have a little a little pencil holder right here which is just a finger and a half width but it's got that four and a half deep and then on the what would be the back of the inside of the purse we've got a nice hobo um, tag and a zipper pocket and we'll see where that zipper pocket leads oh more stuff people on surfboards uh, whatever okay um let's see that is about the same as the front so i'd say four and a half inches but it's four and a half wide so you can get a lot more in here you're not going to be able to fit your standard 2020 phone even even an older phone it's not going to fit in there but um you can definitely slide it your phone into this front pocket and it w should rest pretty securely in there uh, doo -doo. nothing left to talk about on the inside so we'll reverse it and I've, I've never had a bag that yeah, I can just reverse like this so easily and so it's pretty exciting to me to have that capability and then once again this is what makes it an instant iconic bag for me um, you're not gonna no you're not gonna be able to shoulder this unless you have very very petite sh arms this is not well actually hold on okay if, if you're a lot I have a very broad chest so if you're a lot smaller in stature then you should be able to very comfortably actually wear this and I love the way where it sits the tassel gently caresses your arm it's it's okay I'll, I'm, I'll admit when I'm wrong that that is quite comfortable um, but just being a bag that you can carry around it's not as much fun carrying it this way anyways this is the hobo now let me test my memory blossom <laughs> this is the hobo blossom in cinnabar color uh, i believe they're getting a little hard to find um, my initial research online uh, they are not selling it on hobo anymore at this point in time but they uh they're still out there and they're definitely findable so good luck with your search i hope you uh enjoyed the product and the review and i'm travis thanks for hanging out in my closet bye